Tico, tico, little star, how I want to walk out. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am sitting down to share with you my third trimester update or kind of round up. I am currently 38, well almost 39 weeks pregnant, 39 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So I thought I'm gonna sit down and do this before baby comes so it's not too late. As per usual, I have my phone. I've got all the notes week by week from this trimester. So I'm gonna go through them. I feel slightly nervous about just the not knowing when it's going to happen and if it's going to happen start happening through the day or at night time and because we already have a three-year-old and we have organized family child care for her just kind of knowing when to get them to come and pick her up and how it's going to happen is kind of the most nerve-wracking part of all of this Obviously, I have gone through birth before. I gave birth to her. Um, I had a vaginal birth and a very, very good labor and delivery. My post delivery was not so great. I had an episiotomy, which was not sewn up correctly. And I had to wait to be redone, which was at, I think, 11 months postpartum. That makes me very nervous to go back through the process now. But I'm hoping that this will be one of those positive healing birth experiences, as healing as it possibly can be, and that I don't have to have another episiotomy. I am absolutely fine with tears or whatever, but I really, I, I want to have a very slow, controlled birth, and I have done so much research into that. I'm going into this very positive. I've been doing lots of hypnobirthing, lots of breathing exercises, and yep, drinking all of the raspberry leaf tea, uh, eating dates, doing perineum massage, all the things to try and hopefully help this delivery. Okay, so at the start of week 28, 29, we actually moved into our new apartment, which we're very settled here now. We have unpacked most of the boxes and we have the kids' room, or at least Mia's room, organised and a nursery corner in our room organised and their wardrobe sorted. Car seat is in the car, uh, buggy is in the basement, so we know where everything is. And I don't think we're gonna need much more than that for the first couple of weeks. Settled in our beautiful new home and I feel so comfortable and happy here. And I'm loving that there's a bath because I have a bath, like I'm just living in the bath at the moment. It's the most comfortable I can be. So moving on to week 30 was the end of Mia's summer holiday. So I had been moving, unpacking, getting us settled, looking after Mia, and being pregnant and working all at the same time. It was a crazy summer. I've written down lots of kicks, so there was a lot of activity. This baby has been way more active than Mia ever was. I remember with Mia, she would always kick me on the left side in the same place, pretty much all the time. Um, and even when I had delivered her, I, I could still feel the kick there, even though she was in my arms and she was out in the real world. I also started having leg cramps. Now, if you have experienced pregnancy leg cramps, my goodness, they really wake you with quite a startle and you have to get up, stand up and stand on them to kind of stamp them out of you. If you just flinch your leg slightly too much. It just cramps and that's it. And trying to get out of bed when you're 30 odd weeks pregnant is quite difficult as well. So I did lots of different things from the massage guns that you get. Ingmar tried that on me, very uncomfortable. I had two pregnancy massages. We also used magnesium cream on my legs before nighttime drunk way more water. Then week 31. This is the first time that I had a midwife appointment where Ingmar could actually attend. I think there was only one midwife appointment maybe back at week 28 where we didn't wear a mask and then we went straight back to masks again. So yeah the whole Covid thing has has made the experience slightly different than with Mia but we have been very very lucky here. I definitely am very grateful to be in Iceland and not have huge restrictions and huge numbers at the moment touch wood is going to be okay for the birth and the um 
hospital stay. Hopefully Ingemar can be there the whole time. Week 31 I had my whooping cough vaccination which is a standard vaccine that you get. Uh, lots of movement, head down. You know, they run a measuring tape across your bump, like that's an accurate measurement of baby. Um, but she did that and then she felt down to see if the head was down and engaged. And she said that the head is definitely down, which I had already kind of thought was what the case was. Um, but that he wasn't engaged and she said typically second, third, whatever babies aren't engaged until you're actually in labour. But now, the last appointment she said he is engaged. So I have managed to now avoid, I have the all clear of that horrible nerve wracking if your waters break and you're out in public and your baby isn't engaged yet, then you have to phone for an ambulance, which sounds fine. But in reality, it means that you have to kind of go down and like the oh, sleeping baby position in yoga or something where your your head down and your bum is up in the air so you're leaking water your bum is in the air you're out in public and you're possibly having a contraction at the same time <laughs> which would just be mortifying i think it probably does happen to women though but luckily i've i've managed to pass that line he is engaged now I also noted down that easily offended and emotional. I think I've been really emotional throughout this most of this pregnancy for many different reasons. It is a very different scenario in the world right now. I feel far away from home. I'm not further away from home than I normally would be, but the fact that I can't really travel and that I haven't seen a lot of my family for two years now is really really difficult. We've also had earthquakes and a volcanic eruption which is mad. We are back to having earthquakes again now. So I have been woken up through the night with earthquakes feeling through the day. Um, so we're kind of started the pregnancy with earthquakes and a volcanic eruption and it looks like I'm ending it that way as well. Leg cramps, pubic bone ache. Now <laughs> I don't remember having this with me. I definitely had more kind of hemorrhoid and indigestion problems with her. This time round it's it's all been about my pelvic bone and my posture. I don't know if it's because he's in a different position, heavier, lower down. I've had to learn to really adjust my posture to try and ease the pelvic bone. It is very uncomfortable. I'm finding it really difficult to walk at the moment and with me as labour I walked just paced back and forth in the hospital room for five or six hours in active labour and I just will not be able to do that this time. Boobs started hurting. I think this is just, it's not been like when I was pregnant with Mia and it was the first time and your your boobs are adjusting and <laughs> you're, you know, you're producing or you're getting ready to produce milk and because I've done all of that before and I breastfed Mia. I don't know if this is quite normal, but it wasn't really this, the case this time. So just generally having a bit of ache around them and just starting to feel my age. <laughs> now, I know I kind of joke about them saying geriatric pregnancy because I'm in, in my 40s. I am 40. Between the waddling and the bad posture <laughs> or just pelvic pain, I've felt my age the last couple of weeks. 32 weeks, tired, not sleeping, peeing constantly through the night. Now, welcome to pregnancy. Kicks all the time, sore pelvic bone and muscles around that area. Wearing the bump support strap. So I managed to get one of those kind of straps that you put all the way around you and you wear kind of on your hips underneath bump to just help lift the weight of bump. Positive, mum came to visit. So my mum managed to come over. I think she came over for a week actually and it was just so nice to have her here. So nice to kind of just have have your mum around and have her see the new place and give her input into how things should be. But just to hang out with Mia as well and go swimming and go to the park and just go for lunch and all the nice things that you can get to do together. Quite a bit of that time in Ikea, I think we went two or three times, which isn't really nesting. I don't know that I really nested much with Mia's pregnancy. Ingmar definitely did, so I kind of watch him. 
and then I know labor's not that far away. Which he's been nesting for the last couple of weeks, but I think that's just because we're in a new place and we're just getting settled here, so I don't know if that necessarily counts as nesting. Week 33, I've put <laughs> hip ache and big, big kicks. So yeah, just generally feeling the activity so much more and enjoying that as well before it gets too too uncomfortable and there's not much room left in there so yeah week 33 was good sorting out new home and baby clothes so i did all of the baby clothes washing pretty early on i have just ironed three outfit choices for baby the hospital bag is packed the bed is ready the snug thing is ready and yeah we have one cool funky cute outfit which is my preferred outfit i'm going to take an instagram picture of this later on um and then we have the outfit that mia came home in now i know that might sound a bit strange but actually i just think that's really cute so yeah we might do that that's kind of the bigger size so that's zero to three up to three months and then underneath we have just a white plain outfit which is newborn and then underneath that we have the knitted um suit to keep her keep him <laughs> nice and cozy so yeah coming from here into some of these and then bringing you home into your bed this is so surreal i can't believe i'm gonna have two kids in like a month's time a month i'm super organized this is ridiculous <laughs> I think that I thought I was probably going to have an earlier labour, but 39 weeks now, no real signs of any activity at the moment. But yeah, I had all of his laundry done, all the bedding done, I have the breastfeeding station, the nappy change station, everything is done. So we're, yeah, he's ready, we're all ready, <laughs> we're just waiting now, it's just that waiting game. Week 34 I started things like the perineal massage. If you're not sure what it is and you are pregnant and around kind of week 34, 36, whatever, definitely look it up. Lots of kicks, heavy bump pushing down. So yeah, starting to feel the weight of him and feeling a bit of pressure actually, which is probably why I started thinking that it was going to be an earlier labour than what it might be. I put down trying to edit. Now this is where I did start editing a bit more of the content that I've been filming, but I've honestly just, I've really not been able to sit very comfortably and focus on anything. So I've really struggled to keep up with my workload. I decided I just wouldn't put pressure on myself. This is my last pregnancy. I want to enjoy it as much as I can and enjoy the time with Mia before baby brother is here as well and that's just what I've, I've chosen to do so those videos will be coming soon. Also in week 34, see organised Sonia, packed hospital bag, <laughs> Mia's overnight bag is packed and we discussed with Ingemar's sister, so Mia's auntie, what we would do for childcare, how we wanted it to kind of go so she will go to her auntie's and stay there um, hopefully it will only be for one night and she will be picked up with, by her daddy, brought back to the hospital to see mummy and meet baby brother so that we come home together as a family if Covid allows instead of her just coming back home and suddenly there's there's a baby here. I think it would be good for her to actually be part of the whole hospital experience, see mummy, meet baby, give him a kiss and cuddle uh, get a present from him and then, sorry, she can bring her baby brother home. I've also put that the freezer is full. Now the fridge is now, it's very rarely full, but our freezer is jam-packed full with meals, so we are ready. Week 35, started to go for coffee alone and enjoy me time. It occurred to me that I need to start thinking about what I want to do before baby is here for me. Ingmar drops me at nursery and then I drop him off at work and then I'll go for a coffee and just sit there, you know, stare out of the window or read a magazine or a newspaper or just kind of enjoy the environment and just have a bit of me time before I kind of come home and get on with things and start running out of energy <laughs> so just starting to enjoy alone time before the newborn stages and breastfeeding and everything again 
we confirmed his name, <laughs> which we pretty much had the same name the entire time. Ingmar was the one that chose it this time. He suggested the first name, straight away I agreed it. The second name, I think we've gone around three different names now and come back to the original one. So feeling a lot more uncomfortable and also we were given a scan at week 35 to measure the size of baby and the amniotic fluid which I think is they do that because I am over 40. Okay everything's good with baby as much as they know <laughs> and the next time we will be here he'll be coming here. Ah <laughs> that's crazy. It was the weirdest scan though because we arrived right on time for the appointment we were running a little bit late found a parking space went inside Ingemar was trying to organize parking on the app we went in for the scan and we had had the scan had the measurements confirmed got a picture and we were out of there before he'd even paid for the parking it was under 10 minutes <laughs> this woman was on a mission but it was nice to see baby he was so big that you really couldn't tell what was what from the scan and the picture that she gave us was I actually had to get her to point out what direction baby was in because it was just it was a really bad scan it would have been nicer if she'd taken a little bit more time but anyway we were we were there for the measurements and baby is fine week 36 is the last massage that I had so Ingmar treated me to two lovely um, prenatal massages. That was amazing. If you are currently pregnant and have not had a prenatal massage and are thinking about it, oh, I highly recommend. I feel so relaxed. I feel like I'm all like stretched out and pushed and prodded. <laughs> the blood is flowing and I'm ready to take on this birth. Ah. They had this cushion that had like a big egg shape so you could lie on your tummy and when you've not been able to do that for months now it was just such a relief it really felt great and I think I fell asleep maybe two or three times in it and it wasn't the most comfortable massage either she was really going into my hips um, but I was snoring <laughs> I was so tired. I've also written that I started making padsicles so if you don't know what padsicles are and you are aiming for a vaginal birth definitely look them up as well and get them in your freezer. Baby dropping and Braxton Hicks. <laughs> this is quite a funny one. I've noticed that my my tummy has got quite hairy and they're really really light hairs which I think I remember happening with Mia as well. So started drinking raspberry leaf tea and started eating three dates a day. Week 37 we also watched the movie Knocked Up which is what we watched the night before I went into labour with Mia so I think I was hoping that it would do the same trick. But it didn't. Feet started to swell. Now this is what happened when my milk came in with Mia and has actually happened much earlier on this pregnancy and I also decided that I would just do a little test to see if I could hand express some colostrum which I could and I felt very proud of myself and very excited about that because I am really looking forward to breastfeeding again and just having that bonding time with my son and yeah it was really reassuring that that happened so I think maybe that's got something to do with the swelling I'm not quite sure uh, generally you kind of just swell <laughs> more in the end of pregnancy anyway week 38 feeling swollen slow to walk and yeah this is when I got confirmed that baby is engaged so all good to go he's ready we're ready it is just the waiting game now needing to pee as soon as you finish peeing that's definitely a standard end of pregnancy feeling first round of acupuncture I just did acupuncture with my midwife baby is still in here we heard his heartbeat He's kicking a little bit, but less than normal. So I don't know if he's saving his energy ready for his journey. So my midwife said to me, because I'm over 40, uh, they won't let me go past 40 weeks of pregnancy. They will do an induction. 
and personally I, I've never had an induction before I want to avoid it I want to go into spontaneous labor um, with Mia I just woke up five in the morning my waters are broken very very slowly and calmly they they came out and I would just love if it was the same way this time round but it might not be and so I discussed with her having acupuncture so we booked in three acupuncture sessions so tomorrow is my second round of acupuncture and that went really well the first time I also met with a gynecologist with the midwife and it was a meeting that was supposed to I think kind of reassure me about the episiotomy I had last time and the care that I got after it. It was quite an old fashioned attitude of, I hear what you're saying, but it happens and you just have to get on with it. And I know all of that. I don't need to hear that before I'm going into labor again. It upset me and it made me more nervous. So I came home, I got in the bath, I did more hypnobirthing and I tried to get out of that mindset that she'd kind of put me in. If you are going through something where you're worried that it might happen again, just be really really careful about who you kind of let in to that nervous space that you hold. So yeah, basically getting into a positive mindset has been the plan for the rest of well this week that really threw me that meeting that I had with her and I'm kind of coming to the point where I'm 39 weeks and this week my midwife said that she's going to offer me a sweep which I don't know how I feel about I know that it is a good intervention as far as interventions go it's one of the more natural ways of inducing labor but at the moment I feel like kind of just want to be left to 40 weeks but I also don't want to risk them just leaving me to 40 weeks and then they do something more medical to me so I guess tomorrow when I see my midwife I will be discussing it a lot more with her the only real reason I'm nervous about it is because I'm so uncomfortable there already which when you think about dilating to 10 centimeters and pushing a baby out of you and the ring of fire again having a sweep is nothing compared to that <laughs> really um not that no i've never had one before as life has it mia has a staff day so she's not going to be in school tomorrow and i can't exactly take her along <laughs> so ingmar is going to have to take the day off it might bring on some contractions um hopefully it will it might break my waters small chance of that happening if it does then it means that they were ready to break which is great and yeah it might bring on labor so who knows that's basically the update for now right now i'm just kind of at home playing the waiting game and uh conserving my energy so that i can spend the evening playing with mia after nursery and uh trying to get some sleep through the night so Mia asked to see her baby brother and I show her on the Pregnancy Plus app the kind of 3D model that they have. So she thinks, you show your brother? That's your brother. Yeah. <laughs> and you talk to him, don't you? Yeah. You say, hi, I love you. Hi, I love you. I love you, baby brother. Yeah, I love you, baby brother. <laughs> I'm silly. What's he doing? Honey, happy. Oh, He's happy. It. Whoa. Honey, running around. Is he running? Me. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for this video. I guess the next video you will see baby. Thank you very much for watching and following this journey. Make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the bell notification. And I will see you in the next video soon. Bye guys.